for me is a slightly a meditative state. You have to close that other world off. And when I do go there, that's when the work really becomes something. Because if I don't do that, it's, it's just a pretty picture. Um, and I have some of those, which I'm not going to show you. <laughs> Those moments where I'm really close and I'm really shut off, I think that's where the sort of core of the painting comes together. I paint emotions that are quite deep within me that I'm unaware of. In the reality of life, I try and suppress some of those feelings and then my, <laughs> my hand carries them out for me. some sort of harmony that I feel in melancholy. It's actually a very beautiful place. You can't see the stars in daylight, can you? So you don't see the light without the dark. The fear is actually to step into the light. You know, we have to be ready. Darkness is protective space. Your baby starts off in the womb and the darkness and the comfort of that, the seed to any plant starts underground. My art is very much about metamorphosis of development. We live in this comfort zone. We hide all the time and we find really good reasons to do so. about some of these works that I only really begin to understand later. I guess they must be so subconscious, which makes titling them quite challenging sometimes. They kind of need to live in my space for a while, and then I can go, ah, that's what that was. That's who she is. That's what she's saying. For example, this one painting I did, it looked like a bud that was growing inside a belly. That was right around the time that I got pregnant. The reason I do this rather slow, meticulous work is all the layers. Not only literal layers of paint. You see past the skin, you see below the surface and you see the kind of growth that's happening from within. Um, it can be seen again sort of plant-like, but it's all part of, of the metamorphosis really. All those things that you might be adding or subtracting, shedding or growing are in addition to who you truly are, whatever the hell that is. The women that I paint, they stand alone. Yeah, I see them as these heroes that continue to rise to the challenge and that are going to grow regardless of their surroundings. Every single painting I've ever done has gone through a phase I call the teenage phase. Is that sort of awkward, grow, figure it out, become a new version of yourself, struggle with that version of yourself. It's funny, it's almost that I've learned that it's actually there where the magic happens. And it's in that time that I rise to the challenge to give it life. And then it's done. <laughs>